Hello and welcome to round two of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of September 12th. I'm Terry Morrow and I'm here with Catherine Holeko. Hello. And a motorcyclist outside my window. <laughs> Usually on this podcast, we talk about parenting issues, but once a week, Catherine and I like to get together to discuss TV, movies, books, and other entertainment topics because it's nice to talk about something other than parenting for a change. This week, we kicked off season two of Rutherford Falls. Woo! <laughs> and season 31 of Dancing with the Stars, the little pre special about the. Pro's most memorable dances. Really? Question mark. These were the ones, Mm -hmm. you guys? I think they were probably the producer's most favorite dances, but okay. Uh, Rutherford Falls. So, Rutherford Falls. (laughs) We loved season one so much, we just had to watch season two, of which there are eight episodes, I believe, and then there are no more. So, I can do it. I can be a completist. I can make it through. Yes, you can. However, we have come to the point in watching a series for me in which I fast forward through parts I don't want to watch. Okay. (laughs) So, um, most of this I was fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we come back to Rutherford Falls with the ye old area of the city completely ye olded. Right. And... Some discontent amongst shop owners who want to call their shops contemporary things that don't go with yield, mm-hmm. like a gym called Sweat. Yield Sweat, not so much. <laughs> right. um, and, you know, Terry's trying to hold it all together, but his accountant is telling them that really people aren't interested in this stuff anymore, which good research to have done ahead of time. Right. <laughs> not sure why he's just finding this out now. But okay, Mm -hmm. things change fast in America. You know what? One day Mm -hmm. something's hot, the next day it's old news. That's right. And Regan has transformed uh, Nathan's house and museum into a uh, museum for the tribe with the same school classes coming through, with the Mm -hmm. same teacher who is still inexplicably hot for Nathan. No offense, Ed Helms, but she seems unbalanced. (laughs) And um, the same astronaut ice cream at the end. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, we get a little bit of Josh's podcast, which, you know, okay, less said about that, the better. <laughs> and the moment that Bobby mentioned there were ghosts in the house and creaking and such like, I don't know about you, but I'm like, oh, yeah, Nathan's in the attic. Right. Indeed, he was looking all unkempt. Because apparently he's gotten out of his car and come back to civilization, but does not have access to a razor. Right. Like um, somehow he can he can <laughs> use the bathroom and feed himself and whatever, but he can't shave. Okay. Really, Regan, I think you could have set the man up. Right. But okay. So he is finally discovered and... He's finally discovered it, and it is a fun scene because is, yes. the, the two... Um, Casino workers who are Regan's nemeses, yes, um, ha- have a side hustle as ghost hunters. <laughs> so Bobby hires them to come over yes. and figure out what's happening. <laughs> and they decide that it's the ghost of upset white people, and so they have all these right. artifacts that will scare them, that will or attract. No, them. that will attract them. Yes, yes. A, a DVD of Cheers. <laughs> That was yes. amusing, yes. If I had not known that it was Nathan they were going to find, it might have been more amusing, but okay. Right. And right. they do finally, uh, you know, locate him there in a little room. And uh, they still seem to feel it's a secret now, except didn't the the Peckle and Jekyll there see him too? Yeah, yeah. So you know they're going to Yeah, so should, nobody should be surprised it. to see him yeah. from that point on right. unless they were you know given money for silence and even then come on right he makes his amends to bobby who is immediately won right. back it over takes not hard to do off. right <laughs> and uh nathan decides that he needs to apologize to the whole town and show everybody how he's now enlightened and he's over himself and he's over all that stuff and he's not the same guy yada 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 so of course he comes up with a plan in which he is going to sort of take over Terry's surprise birthday party to make his grand apology via video and in person. And, and Terrible you know. idea. Terrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, he realizes a little too late that it's a terrible idea and that it's right. just him being exactly who he was before. But right. it's too late to stop it. And so uh, that that's the point at which I hit the fast forward because it's like <laughs> the comedy of embarrassment and humiliation is not yeah. my jam. It's it's popular. You know, I'm, there's mm-hmm. folks who love it. Not for me. So mm-hmm. oftentimes I will just go. Let's go to the next scene. Right. Um, so uh, did you have anything to say about that tiny bit that I fast forwarded through? Did I miss anything important? No, it was it was as expected. Um, although, you know, Terry did take it probably better than. I did appreciate might. that. That Terry told him later. It's like, I have been so stressed and watching you drowning up there made me realize <laughs> right. my problems aren't so big. So it's like exactly. uh, that, that, that sort of rescues the scene as long as I don't have to actually watch it. Right. So, I mean, I was surprised that they, uh, Terry's wife, they didn't show, you know, how mad <laughs> she must have been. Because, well, it seemed like everything was righted pretty quickly thereafter. Yeah. And she was, you know, it wasn't the most most uh, kindly depiction of her in this scene. <laughs> yes. This is but, you know, she's like ordering Regan around all the time. And uh, finally, uh, Regan accepts the wise counsel of... Wayne, I believe. We should learn name. their names. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne. Uh, can you put that on the script so that I'll remember that mm-hmm. in future episodes? <laughs> she takes Wayne's wise counsel to just say... No, what nah, is it? Man. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, yeah. man. That's, that'll, be the, that'll be the title of the next episode. No, not the next episode, but look for that in an episode title along with right. Scudis and, Scudis and uh, Skoden. Skoden. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, and so she finally says, nah, man, to Terry's wife, who right. looks taken aback. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, Nathan ends the party out by the fire pit, just kind of chilling with Regan right. and feeling, you know, abased but uh he will go on i trust bumbling Mm -hmm. about and uh we find that the mayor has a new job so this this means of course that there needs to be a new mayor so this sets terry's wheels turning of course as to who would be the best mayor for his purposes yes yes true and that is where we leave that is where we leave it with him, you know, scheming. Right. Who have we seen who would be a good candidate? I don't know. I mean, you you think um, Nathan is a possibility. I would think so. If if Terry feels he can manipulate Nathan. Right. Or if Nathan feels like this is how he's going to get his brand new start in the town. Exactly. I think we've discussed this before, that small town politics Never the way to redeem yourself. <laughs> right. Was there another show in which that was an important point? I feel like I've said that before. No, 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 not this way. Mm-hmm. That would be a very bad idea, which is probably exactly what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Um, Regan seems to have a little time on her hands. Maybe she could go do that in between all her other things. <laughs> time on her hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she could put yeah, a little alarm Nathan, on her watch to go to city council meetings. Nathan hiding in the attic was good for her because... Yes. Uh, she was he was helping her do all of her jobs. <laughs> she was delegating to Nathan, right. so. and he was he had not yet learned to say "nah, man." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he needs to learn how to say "nah, man" to himself. Is the problem. right? He had no place. He had no business <laughs> saying that to to Regan. That's for sure. Yes, yes, yeah. That was kind of cute that he was up there and she knew about it and was that they're back to being buddies. Right. So, you know. Seven more episodes. Mm-hmm. Seven more episodes and a fast forward button. I think I You're can good. do it. Yeah. Can handle it. Yeah. Totally. But may all the people in this show, all, many of the actors in this show, please go on to bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. Including, honestly, the guy who plays Terry. What, Michael Gray Eyes? Michael Gray Eyes, yeah. Dancing with the Stars, season 32, <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's a moves. Yeah. Well, he taught dirty dancing classes. That's right. See? You know what? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Um, speaking of dancing, mm-hmm. and speaking of Dancing with the Stars, it this, this season does not actually start... Till a 
week from yesterday. Next Monday it starts. Right, it starts Monday the 19th. Yes. But the Dancing with the Stars folk thought that it would prime our pumps to put out something called The Pro's Most Memorable Dances. Uh Uh-huh. And we watched it. And it was 55 minutes, no commercials, just just right on through 20 dances with a lot of extremely awkward and stiff dialogue from people who are dancers for a reason, we now need right, to think. Right, they are. <laughs> they couldn't, couldn't get even Alfonso somebody. Like, I know you can't get Tom Bergeron, like, that ship has sailed, but wow. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your day jobs, kids. Yes. <laughs> Oh, they wear clothes well, though. I'll give Mm -hmm. them that. Mm -hmm. Um, And they were in some sort of, what sort of domicile was that supposed to be that they were in and why were they were there? Was it like the Disney Haunted Mansion or was it the Rutherford (laughs) Museum or what? It was a character in this thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as with all Dancing with the Stars, you just have to let art flow over you. It's yes. you know, just don't ask why. Just right. watch or occasionally fast forward. Yes. But there were 20 dances, plus some a little extra bonus things sprinkled in. And some of them were memorable. Mm-hmm. I question the presence of other ones. I would say, you know, no offense, lady, but nothing Caitlin Bristow did was memorable. <laughs> much less at like a higher number i mean a a lower number than Meryl Davis who was right. fantastic in every single dance she did do not put her in a corner do not say yeah, that Caitlin, Caitlin Bristow was more memorable than she is because Meryl. you are full of bleep you could have done the whole special with her dances Caitlin was at number 6 and <laughs> Meryl was at number 8. No, no, no. Wrong for certainly for quality of dance, but even wrong for memorableness. Everything yes. she did was memorable. Right. Meryl did was memorable. Plus all the interstitial stuff that she did with Max was memorable. That whole mm-hmm. season was memorable. Uh, so yeah, so the numbering, I wonder I don't think the pros made these decisions. Mm-hmm. I really really don't. They may have picked them. I suppose maybe that was Artem's choice when he was asked. Right. Uh, But I, anyway, well, we often, we often are suspicious of the scores on this show. (laughs) (laughs) This was no different. Some of them, I mean, Sean Johnson was a very memorable star. Absolutely. But I don't think that was her best dance. Uh Zendaya, I remember the season she was on. She was fantastic, and they did many really good dances. I don't know that that was the most memorable one. Right. Um, she, that was back when she was a Disney kid, and, and until Jordan Fisher, a Disney kid could not win this show. There was too much resentment against them. Mm-hmm. I, maybe she was a Nick kid. I don't know. And she was in some no, show she that was had Disney. dancing. Was she Disney? She was in some show yeah. that had dancing, and so she was kind yeah. of a ringer also, but she was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um so it was kind of fun seeing some of those people again. Some of those people, not so much. Right. Um, and, uh, okay. I mean, how did you feel about the NFL player super group doing a Paso <laughs> Doe play? <laughs> what? Well, especially, uh, yeah, you know, that's a few minutes of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> it, it, it was a big de- Really, this, this show seemed to be more about like the first 10 years of Dancing with the yeah, Stars than it was, it was the, the, the 20 years after that, which says a lot. I mean, there were some newer things, but it was also, I mean, it was very steeped in the older stuff, maybe uh-huh. just to remind people for a reason, maybe. Right. It was just, it was kind of weird. Uh-huh. It was entertaining, but in no way... Here is our absolute stellar best. I was happy to see Amy Purdy on there. That was a yeah. very cute dance with the the blades, <laughs> the running blades she was using. Right, she used running blades for her prosthetic legs. Yeah, that was that was cool. Yeah, and I, I mean, even though it is, you know, just from this past season, mm-hmm. I don't think I'll ever forget the. Daniela and Iman. Oh, yes. I was jumpsuit. wondering if that would be in there because I thought that sucker was memorable. And that was there at number yes. two. Yes. I was so. very happy to see that there and to see it again. Cause that, what a weird piece of work that was. And oh, my goodness, that fall. 
Yeah. How do you even that. practice that? Let's try it a few times and see if you can do it. Maybe they had very they had thick padding. Mat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Impressive, though. She made her mark. Yes. The test will be to see if she can get anywhere this season with Joseph the, Bae- the Bae- contestant Bae- most likely to go home first, from right. what I'm reading. <laughs> yes, let's, let's uh, pirouette away from this uh, odd little special to the season, which this uh, on Thursday coming. they announced the whole the whole well, batch. One more before we go there. One oh, more yes. thing: the the show, the dance that I wanted to see that wasn't in the top, <gasps> that wasn't in the yeah. twenty, um, is from before I even started watching the show. Uh huh. It was the Charleston that Nastia Lukin and Sasha did. Oh yes, to that was so Honey, adorable. I'm good. Yeah, where they were on the subway in the subway yes. car, and the guy is, the guy who sang that song Andy Grammer. was on the show and yes was late in a it. few years later he was yes a star. that's right but in this case he was just on there singing and the whole story of that is that her, i think Derek was her partner that that season and he injured himself so right. sasha He's... came in from the troupe to dance it with her and they were freaking adorable yeah, and Derek, and Derek is sitting was there, like course, sitting there, you know. He can't spotlight, dance. where's the spotlight? Can I, right. can I worm my way into it? So mm-hmm. Derek was there, sitting on the subway with Andy Grammer, who was singing the song. And the two, oh my gosh, that that's the one that put Sasha on the map. I'm like, give this man a partner immediately. He is right. That yeah, that was a fantastic dance. I wonder, I wonder why they didn't show it. I wonder if there was any, if, and maybe any of the hosts were not happy with. <laughs> The way that went, I don't know. I don't know. I think that there were about 15 dances it could have subbed in for. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. For example, Derek and Haley, (laughs) not even competing, (laughs) just doing a dance, just filling time. Yep, it could have filled in for that. You're still in it, Derek. You're still there. You still get your face on the camera. It's okay. Anyway, everybody listening to this, go immediately to YouTube. We'll we'll yes. have a link. We'll, we'll have a link it. for it. Go watch that dance. Yes. Because it was cute as heck. Yes. And very well done and very well choreographed by Derek. So, see, he gets the kudos for that, too. Right. So. So, now we, we can talk about the upcoming <laughs> season. Now that we've traveled down memory lane yes. for several minutes. Yes. So. For, for for a short time there, when all we were doing was reading the rumors, it looked like Sasha was going to be back in the troupe, which, mm-hmm. you know, awkward. Um, yeah. Because Emma, who I guess they're separated. I don't know if they're officially divorced, but she is a pro. But now he is a pro too. I don't know if, if Selma Blair was a last-minute short person or what, but he's Right, he's because our... Our speculation was that the reason Sasha didn't have a partner was that they had no very short legs. Yes, yes. But maybe she just gave her okay at the last minute and they were waiting. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know, but that's... uh, So we should... should, Do we have a list somewhere of who this uh, dazzling array of stars is? I actually think it's not terrible. Yeah, there's a lot of um, people in my generation my age bracket <laughs> here yeah yeah definitely um yeah well the aforementioned joseph baina yeah I'm not with daniela sure, is apparently i mean I, i'm sure he's well known as a bodybuilder if you're into that thing but mostly the shorthand for him is illegitimate son of arnold schwarzenegger right well with i'm on while he was married to maria so i'm on tvline.com yes. and so for each person they have their age their uh-huh. partner and what they're known for. Yes. And for Joseph, it does say bodybuilding competitions and fitness modeling, comma, being Arnold Schwarzenegger's <laughs> son. So there you go. Well, we all need a claim to fame of some sort there, <laughs> don't we, Joe? So she's with Daniela, and I've been hearing people say that they think he's going to go first. And I would not argue that with anybody else, but if anybody can pull it off, if anybody can take a side of beef, and climb all over it in such a way that you say, I'd like to see more of that. It would be Daniela. So I'm not counting her out yet. And if she is out in the first round, 
I'm gonna call foul because somebody saddled her with a somebody yeah. saddled her with a big boulder because they're tired of her doing so well. Right, because she you won came on here and season. won in like your almost one in your second season and one in your third season. Yeah, many of us are not in the same position. I'm feeling resentful. Go away. Yeah, <laughs> to the troop with you, young lady. <laughs> um, and then it's discussed. Selma Blair is with Sasha. Right. And her story is going to be that she has multiple sclerosis and right. balance issues and other health issues based on that. So right. I am sure we will hear a lot about that, which good. That's fine. Right. And she seems game from the things I've seen of her. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know. Wayne Brady, who. Wayne you Brady, know, a little bit of a ringer. Yeah, I mean, he's. The man has been on Broadway. So. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And seems and to have Whitney. Seems to have the right level of personality and showmanship for this gig. For sure. See also Alfonso Rivero, who did very well right. with Whitney. So yeah, right. that's gonna be one to watch. Sam Champion. Do you right. even know who Sam Champion is? Yes, because I lived in New York for a while. Okay, yes. <laughs> like, I guess he must be doing something. I guess he's on Good Morning America. Yeah. So but I, I think of him as a local... A local guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I remember how much I did not like when the last weather person was on, Ginger. Oh, yeah. She was just boring. <laughs> so was. I feel like Sam Champion is less boring than, yeah, than her. Yeah, I guess. I I think he's he's uh, also a nominee for first to go. But, right, uh, just for Cheryl. because of age and... You yeah, know, Cheryl, winner me. of season two and three, and not much since. Right, but, uh, and now we're up to season 31. <laughs> Yikes. And then we have the influencer duo of... The TikTok person. Have you heard of Have you heard of these people? Yes, I, I have. It's not a Charlie TikToker. D'Amelio. I feel um, like I have heard her name before. Yes. I mean, because she's just extremely famous for yes. being on TikTok, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, and okay. then her mom. So she's partnered with Mark. Yes, Mark. Who hasn't Mark been on Bellis in a while. Came back. And then her mother is on, and she's with Artem. <laughs> so. And her claims of fame are a Hulu show and being Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio's mother. Correct. <laughs> she, she and Joseph and the get Hulu together show, in the family corner. The Hulu show is just is because about of, their family. Yeah, I mean it's. <laughs> they just have a show because she is things. riding the coattails of the kid for sure mm-hmm. here. She doesn't mm-hmm. get on this show by herself. She only gets on because hey, What's a it? mother-daughter duo. Right. So, first go me. <laughs> Artem is her partner. Good luck with that, man. Jesse James Decker is a country singer. I have heard of her. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I have heard her music, but I have heard of her. She's with Alan. Okay, uh, Trevor Donovan, a piece of beef that I have not previously heard of. <laughs> and then he I has can't. a large head. <laughs> does he not have a large head, at least in this picture? Yeah, it does look pretty. He's a head made for TV. I wonder if he's like five foot four or something, <laughs> you know? He's just all Like head. so many of these actors. Yeah, maybe are. so. Okay, man. See right. what you got. He's, it didn't look promising to me, but he's with Emma. Good luck to you, honey. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be. I wonder how awkward it's going to be to just have. I, or just Sasha and Emma just never going to be in the same shot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sad a little bit that that didn't work out, although it's been really obvious for a while. Mm-hmm. Based solely on social media. You guys, right. if you're going to not announce that you're separated, you got to take a picture together every now and then. <laughs> Throw Just that up on Photoshop social media. it if you have to. You know, it's not that hard. I bet somebody <laughs> would offer to do that for you for mm-hmm. not a lot of money. Instead, it was just lots of pictures of Sasha alone with his dogs and yeah. Emma off doing fabulous things. So, hmm. anyway, mm. Daniel Dur- Durant? Durant? Durant. Yeah. From Coda. So Yay. I automatically am rooting for him because he is from Coda and because he is very cute. Yes. And he was very good in that movie. And Yes, uh, he, he played the the brother of the main character yes. on Coda. Yes. Which is a movie that we loved, that won Best Picture. Yes. So I think if if you had to vote on on which male from that cast you would have liked to see on Dancing with the Stars, I think the guy who played the dad would be a hoot. 
Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> cutie pie here. We'll take him. Yes. Uh, and he was with Brit Stewart, so he will... Has she... I'm not... Has she had a partner before? I feel like she might have had, like, some old man that lasted <laughs> one episode or something, but I could be wrong. So Cheryl is thinking... Why do I have the old man that's not going to last very long? And Britt gets the cute deaf guy. Britt gets the cute guy. Mm. <laughs> I thought maybe they were bringing Peta back for him because because she did so well with Niall and presumably learned some signing. But yeah, maybe Britt knows. I don't know. Anyway, he is adorable. I don't expect him to last very long, but I will root for him. Yeah. Oh goodness, we still a have real housewife. housewife. Really? Are they still a thing? Yep. Apparently they're still a thing. Is this the one who whose husband was in jail? Yes, and she just got remarried to someone else. And ah. it's like And so this is the thing. the uh reality television tour she's taking here now. Uh, Teresa how do you say Judici, that? I think. Okay. I could be wrong about that. Well, no. good luck with her Pasha. Yeah. Somehow I think that the Posh cops have fallen out of favor and they're giving them duds this season, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Right. And Vinny and then another from Jersey, New Jersey Shore. Yeah. This New is Jersey also representing Ugh. Jersey Jersey reality TV. Less oh, part. so it says that his partner is Coco and it says that she's a first time yes. pro and it did not say that for Brit. So therefore Yes, okay, you're Brit right. Did she's I I don't know if she's been on the show at all. Was she in the troupe before? She went on tour with them, I think. I that I don't know. She's a uh, So You Think You Can Dance person. Mm-hmm. Came in second, season 14. Right. So I have no idea who she is, but, you know, she drew this. Sh- <laughs> I guess it's like nobody wants to be this guy's partner. Right. Hey, you. <laughs> you got mm-hmm. some free time? Oh, well. Good luck to them. And Cheryl Ladd. Oh, my goodness. Cheryl Ladd, age yeah. 71. Good for her. She can still move enough to at least get to the studio. Right. And Louis Van Amstel, who I think has done duty with the older ladies in the past, has come to partner her. Mm-hmm. If she can move at all and, like, has a little showmanship, she could she could last a little bit. Right. But, because she will be one of the few people that people my age knows who she is. Uh-huh. <laughs> all the people who are like, TikTok who? Right. Will be Cheryl Ladd. She's an angel. Um, but if she's just not able to, then she might be a early out. Right. Jason Lewis. I'm trying to find. Oh, she, he was on Brothers and Sisters? Mm-hmm. Maybe I had, do know who he is. Huh. Was he one of Kevin's boyfriends at some point? I'm huh. Trying, I will have I'm to look him up. I'm trying to find who Britt was partnered with, but I cannot figure it out. Chad. I should know who that is, but it's been... I used to write a website about... Uh, I used to write a blog about brothers and sisters. I do remember there being a Chad, but I don't remember who Chad was. Okay, so... So, Britt was partnered with Martin Cove. Oh, yeah. And eliminated first. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that falls into the, the uh, pattern that you were saying that she got uh-huh. some some old guy. Like that was... I yeah. correctly... Oh, she was also with Johnny Weir. Oh, was she? I thought Jenna yep, was. I re- no, I remember that now. Okay. All right. Sorry, okay. Britt. <laughs> You've had all sorts of partners, babe. <laughs> we just haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Did you figure out who Jason Lewis? I Oh no, we missed we missed um, We missed a few. Sh- we missed Shangela? a few. Shangela who Is was on Paul's Drag Race. Okay. So, instead of having a male male partnership which it, this sort of it so yes. right we talked about last season mm-hmm. was jojo and jenna and so this season were they going to do two guys and this is sort of a way to do that you know a a guy in drag and a male partner yeah so. yes and it's gleb gleb huh. yes chad was a kevin boyfriend uh Matthew oh, Reese's yeah. character. Oh, okay, that dude. <laughs> he was a he was a closeted soap star, so uh-huh. he was constantly hiding their relationship. Okay. 
I remember him. He was a jerk. Okay. So then we have Jordan Sparks. So American Idol. She's been on Broadway also. Mm-hmm. And she's partnered with Brandon. She yeah, could she well. could do well. They'll be a, a cute couple. Uh, another batch, you know, this, the requisite bachelor Boy, this person. This cast just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> This is the end. The, the bachelor person is the last one. Gabby. Yeah, Wendy the designated bachelor person. Right. And she's with Val. With Val. So. Yeah. There we go. There's a few I'm pretty interested in, and a few I'm a little bit interested in, and a bunch that are just a grab bag of okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, bring it on. Let's see what this looks like if you're streaming it live. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what that ends up meaning. I yeah, I we were talking a little bit about can they can they avoid the awkwardness of revealing the person who lost the previous week at the end of the next week. Right. I, it seems like I mean the reason they stopped doing the results show is because it took network real estate and now it doesn't and now it's a reason to get your streaming people to come back for a second day. Yeah. Uh, why can't they just do a like a Tuesday results show like they used to? I right. really wish they would. Unless if they, they can... do, we're going to have to change our podcast schedule. <laughs> yeah, that'd be round wind day. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. We will. It'll be, uh, but they haven't made any announcements of any procedural differences. Right. But if they keep doing it the way they've been doing it, that's just mean. Mm-hmm. It's awful. They got they. I mean, they might as well. They can make something out of this format. I mean, I see a lot of people who are saying, "I love Dancing with the Stars, but I don't want to. I don't have Disney Plus, and I don't want to pay right. for it." If they could like use this format to do things that the fans have been wanting for a long time, mm-hmm. they could get those people. They could totally right. get those people for for a couple of months a year. You have to pay for it. It's not so right. bad. Right. Um, but if they just do the same thing except not quite as well, then... And no commercials. Yeah, no commercials is nice. But then you offset that. I mean, you have to do a lot in the first place to offset Tyra and in the second place to offset Disney+. Plus. I think it's that order um, mm-hmm. of annoyance of fans. Right. Um, gosh, but they could do... It seems to me like they could do so much with this. So we'll see if they do anything at all different. I've always right. thought it would be super good if they could, like, put up videos of what the dances should look like. Like, these are the mm-hmm. dances that are, you know, on, on Friday, put out a video that says, these are the dances our contestants are going to be doing on Monday, you know, and here's how they should look. So you're familiar with them. So when you right. see them doing it, you have some sort of informed idea, mm-hmm. you know, other than just saying, oh, that's wonderful. And the judges say, well, but you didn't do this step or you did this thing right. wrong. And you're like, what? <laughs> so I really wish they would. I don't think they will, but I wish they would. So we shall see. Yep. And you know, gosh, if it's live, then I can't use the fast forward thing. Crud. No, you can't. I have to watch it late, but I can't because we're going to have to be recording right afterwards. Yes. To bring <laughs> hot to bring from you. the streamer news yes. to our listeners. To our listeners at midnight our- or whenever we get it on. After We're that. waiting with bated breath. <laughs> uh, so next week, in addition to the real debut of Dancing with the Stars, which will be Monday, September 19th, I don't know. It's live. I assume they're starting it at 8 yeah, I don't Eastern. Know. don't know. Somebody was saying on one of the, the... I'm on a Facebook group for Dancing with the Stars, and somebody was saying, hey, we can all watch it at the same time because they'll probably just drop it, and then it will be live in all time zones. You just have to watch it whenever yeah. that happens to be where you are. I assume that's what they're going to do. Right. Do not know. Okay, and then we will also continue with Rutherford Falls, <laughs> Season 2, Episode 2, called The New Curator, because at the end of this episode, Regan just told Terry that she was going to hire a curator, and uh, he was going to pay for it. Right. So empowered was she by Wayne's sage advice. Yes. <laughs> Honey, if you're taking life advice from that dude... I don't know, it's working so far. <laughs> Might be better than taking advice from Nathan, so yeah, we'll, yes. let, it, we'll let it ride. 
Anyway, so that is going to be it for our round two today. Please subscribe to our Parenting Roundabout podcast so you won't miss any of our episodes. We have something new for you every weekday. As always, you can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. Goodbye, Catherine. Bye, Terry. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.